Hey EACF family, I hope that you are all doing well. Uh, if you're new here to EACF or if you're new to our channel, my name is Job and I am the youth minister of EACF. And for our 36th day of prayer, I encourage you all to, of course, pray for our youth. Now, I've been reading through the Old Testament again, and today I was in the book of Esther. And Esther is a fascinating story because, you know, I bet Esther could relate very well to many of us, including our youth and maybe especially our youth and what they're facing today. Because like them, Esther was a young teenage girl who lived in kind of uncertain times, right? And so how she chose to live her life, the tough decisions, the tough choices that she made, the faith and trust that she had in the Lord, all these things and more, they're just so inspirational to me and so applicable to our current circumstance. You know, when she was faced with uh, tough decisions, I imagine how tempting it must have been for Esther to, to, to want to take the easy way out, to choose a life of comfort and safety. Yet when she was reminded by her cousin Mordecai in Esther 4.14 that perhaps God had placed her in this kingdom for exactly such a time as this, for the task that God had prepared for her to do, Esther chose to do what she knew to be right, no matter what the cost may have been to her personally. And so I was very encouraged by that and as I was reading that today. I was encouraged by what God was able to do through the obedience of one young teenage girl who placed her entire life in God's hands. She essentially changed the course of history. Can you imagine then what kind of impact our young people would have if they also chose to dedicate their lives to God to do with as He wills? It's exciting to think about and it's something that's worth us praying for. You know, our young people are faced each day with choices that bring God honor and glory or they're faced with a choice to live for themselves. And can we just take a moment today to pray for our youth? that they will choose to live for God. I ask you to think of at least one youth today. It can be from our church, but it doesn't have to be. And I ask that you commit that young person to God in prayer throughout this day. I ask that God would just grant them the same courage, the same faith that Esther had to follow God, no matter what he calls them to do today. And if you have a moment, I would encourage you to also reach out to those you know, to personally let them know that you're praying for them, that you care for them, that you love them, because I know that it will just mean the world to them. And so may God continue to help us spur one another on to Christ-likeness.